Hello. So, what am I doing today? <laughs> yes, I had my teeth. Yes, 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 yes. Thank Godness for that. You know, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's been a long time, but, you know, I like it. What do you think? Probably a cheesy smile. Anyway, it's Friday, and I'm playing with, with a phone, but it's all good. Uh, what are we doing this Friday? On that fantastic Friday feeling. Yes, we are back inside your city rooms, in your living rooms, in your whatever rooms. So shut the world out, and what are we going to do today? We are continuing with the Tiger Moth. Yes, we are. Um, so, to save time, let's just get on with it, shall we? Oh yeah, welcome to the Friday feeling. Alrighty, so what we're we doing today, um, we are putting all the wings on today. Now if you remember, I lost uh, a horn um, last week. Still haven't found it, cleaned up the hanger a bit, still haven't found it. So I've ordered some new ones, so I haven't, and they're different to this one a bit, so I'm going to rechange them. Um, I'm going to fill the holes with um, with a uh, balsa model light, which is this, if you can just see it with all the bright lights. It's really light, it's really weird stuff, it's like a putty, but it turns into kind of woody stuff. So that's all good. So, first of all, what we need to do, um, we've made some holes for the, for the rods to go into the uh, fuselage. Uh, basically it did the same before, I'll, we'll, we'll wait until we get the fuselage up, I just want to get the wings done, but you know, if you sort of, with your finger, uh, there's, there's ways of done it, uh, Captain Blas, he does, um, he puts like a, uh, he puts like a soldering iron through the hole to make a little hole, basically all I did is I just rounded it off with my finger, so it kind of stretches it into the hole, and if you use the rods itself, very gently, it almost cuts it, um, and then basically I've just done a file again and super glued it, so it's going to stay rigid. That's the way I do things. Now, we have got to put clips and all sorts of bits on here. So, using the Bible, which we've got the Bible printed off now, not on my if phone, um, what we're going to need. We are going to need, uh, we are going to need two of these. He says, I have everything in my magnol tree. So, I'm um, easy. We're going to need, we're going to need some metal wire. And we are going to need some two clippy things, whatever you like to call them. And we are going to need, now what is what is number four? It doesn't say what number four is. It looks like a washer. So, okay, so it doesn't look like we've got billions of washers in here, which is kind of interesting. But I guess there must be, so we're going to need four of these. So these are the little bolts, uh, Allen key uh, bolts. Uh, we need four of those if I can get them anyway, uh, and then we're going to need two of these which um, um, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, they've got uh, a grub screw in a hex grub screw uh, You kind of use these for the uh, I've used them for the uh, Control horn rods, but they, they fit in here somewhere uh, In a hole around here somewhere to hold cables no doubt um, So we need two of those uh, We also need some dowel rods You get some dowel rods to stick into the end, so we'll do those um, we really could do with another magnol tree. Uh, I should buy one, really, shouldn't I? But I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll put it in a little, I've got a little, it's my little jig for a soldering jig for XD60s and 90s and stuff. We'll, do, we'll put it in there so I don't lose them. So I can get everything in here. And me cable, this is going to be really fun. <laughs> you also need, um, there is like uh, little tubes, in fact, that's so uh, because you can't even see what I'm on about. Let's go real close and personal. Little tubes, you see those? Yeah, they're in there. Uh, by the looks of like it, we need three of those per wing. So, one, two, and three. I don't know why he's done this, it'd be a lot easier to do that. So, that is a, it's a, oh, one of those. And up. All right, that's what we're going to need. That is what we're going to need. So, first of all, I mean, we could glue these, and I might glue them afterwards, but the little dowel rods. 
just fit into the hole like so. I guess we could use a, I don't know how far they go in, 50% probably. So let's, uh, let's get my little hammer. <laughs> it's not really little, but anyway, 50%, half and half. There you go. And we're done. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, now on here, We'll leave them hooks right. So what we do, we need one of these right angles. And it looks like on here that the actual round bit goes on the actual wing itself. So the back, I should really have done an overhead cam really, but I thought this would be better. But anyway, so the back, you see that little thing, that goes over there. And there is different shapes of these, aren't there? There's kind of... That's interesting. Let me just have a look at these because these might be in pairs. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. See, they're all going that way. They're all going that way. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, didn't notice that just now. Oh, it looks like, yes, looks like we've got a left and a righty. So, I would have thought that. Uh, I would have thought that it doesn't really show you on the, uh, yes it does, does it? It, uh, it does, it kind of says they're kind of like the same. I don't know if it would make a difference to be honest with you, I mean, as long as you get a pair, you know, sort of like, you know, so they f fold in, in ways, it's really hard. Can I show you this? Let's see, I, I mean, the camera's probably in the totally wrong position today. Can you see it's got like a little curve over there? I'm sure you can. It probably doesn't focus on it, but yes. But it, it kind of like it, they almost looks like you got pairs, um, and the round bit actually faces that way. So we've got the the flat piece, the flat edge faces the wing, and then the the L shape faces the uh, towards the fuselage. So let's stick them because we are going to need them. And then we've got these little clips. Um, and then we've got the nuts, no, the bolts that go through them with the washer. So you end up with something like that. Um, and then it's a 2.5 mil hex that you're going to need. Hex driver. And hopefully in these holes, there's a little holes, there it goes. You just push them straight through and Bob's your uncle. Look at that. Lovely. So I'm not going to do them up mega tight just yet. We'll just leave it up just uh, loose, just because uh, I need to um, move them about. So let's get another one. Well, this is nice. Did I just speak too soon? Probably. You know, this is this is a relaxing Sunday afternoon. In fact, I should probably put a bit more light on the matter. Could you? No, maybe. I don't know. You can see, can't you? Yes. Nice, 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 nice. So they must have little bolts in uh, nuts inside. So you kind of end like like that. You see? Okay, illumination. Let's put some bit more light on the matter. There you go. That's how it's meant to be. You see? Okay, you got that. Lovely. Lovely. So Friday feeling ah, oh, I do look to do look 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 forward to doing these things. Oh, a bit of look. Oh dear, I got to do, uh, to do. Oh my golly gosh, let's let's because I'm trying to rush and my voice is rushing with me. And they're like Pinky and Perky. I do enjoy the Friday feeling myself. I really do. Right, so presumably, if I look through the uh, Bible pages. There should be four of these, so I would have thought that. I'm really hoping because how many have I got? I've only got two, and there's only there's uh, this is the steel wire, and I've only got. What if I've cut it in half? That's interesting, isn't it? I definitely, have, I could definitely got. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I almost forgot, we need these little pins. 
little hole in it. I just realised that that's what goes into the other side. In fact, let's get this in. Now it says CA glue, so the hole is here. Okay, here we go. Now it says CA glue. Has that got a nut? Yes, that's got a nut as well. But it says put CA glue in there. Why would you put CA glue in there? Oh, you know, I will loosen this off afterwards and I'll probably just put some thread lock, blue thread lock, not CA. <clears throat> so there you go, there's that little hold for the cable and there's the little cable strussy things, as they like to call. So they're going to go, I'll do the same with the top one and they're going to go kind of diagonal. The worrying thing is, is do not cut the excess cable it's saying on here. Um, that one doesn't say anything so. Should I have a bit snotty today? It's, it's the weather, isn't it? I think we cut this in half. Hopefully it's not going to fray. And uh, oh, he's done it. It's too late. <sighs> right. So first things first is that you put both both of the I oh, should have really done an overhead cam really. Ah. Uh, too late. So we put both cable, uh, so first of all, so we are looping it through the little tube that we get. Then you have got the holder, which you also loop through. Being careful not to, um, to unwind the metal, because if you start fraying the metal, oh, it'll be game over. And then we go back through the single. So let me uh, let me come up close and personal like. Um, we end up with a loop. If I just uh, push down, and we're going to get in focus. Are we going to get in focus today? What do you think, Mr. Focus? Are we going to be? Yes, there you go. So you end up with something like that. So you got that little uh, whatever you call it pole hanger holder of cables and the little collar these you actually crimp which we'll do and then we're going to do the little loops on here so uh, you can see what we're doing anyway so it's quite self-explanatory then it, the cable comes down uh, make sure this is and let me just make make sure that when you do this, that the uh, these are the same at the end, so you stand a good chance of getting uh, the right length. So if I put the bring that, that is gone to there, and then what we do, we loop it through the. Uh, no, we don't. We put the pole on first. Sorry, we put the little collar on first. Then we go through our, wish I knew the names of these things. I've got, it's probably in the manual. <laughs> but anyway, the holder of metal cable things. Um, we don't cut any cable yet uh, because we might need to um, stretch the loop out, if that makes sense. So, but we just leave it like that, which is nice. Um, and then we do the same with this one. So we get our little collar Tube. I should get the names of these, you know, but you, you'll know what I'm on about. If you're building one of these, you'll know what I'm on about. It's the little tubey metal bit. Then we are going to go through the uh, clip and back through the metal tube. You just just got to be careful that you don't fray the ends, because then you'll oh, it'll be a nightmare. I mean, I was almost, I really, what I, what you could probably do with actually is um, a bit of, in fact, I might do it, I might do it off camera quickly, um, mainly because I've got to get it out, but some heat shrink just around them in, so when you do cut them down, they don't fray, I'm afraid to say, no, okay, here's a Friday. Yes, I'm allowed to do things like that because it's Friday. So there we go. Let's do a, a bit of close up. 
Oh, I'm ever so snotty today. I do apologise. Right, so where are we? Here we go. So there's our little clips. Um, on here we'll screw some uh, some uh, standoffs, which we'll do. Um, so as you can see, they're going through 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 that little pipe. And if we do um, if we do do some um, get some heat shrink, we could put the heat shrink on there first, and then you know once it's cut, we could just a little heat shrink, just a little. Um, and then it stops it from fraying because it, you know if that gets caught after a while and starts unwinding and oh what a mess So I'm a bit concerned about the washers. There doesn't look like there's loads of washers in here In fact, there's not I wonder if they skimped on me washers a Bit worrying, but okay, so Never mind. Let's see if I can get this out So we've got a washer Which then it goes um, On the wood now what did, what did we say? We said we were going to this way, didn't we? So with the kind of chamfered edge facing towards the back. Is that right? Is that right or is that wrong? I'm surprised that doesn't, that's kind of, look, it doesn't fit straight on the, straight on the back. Okay, that's interesting. All right, okay, no worries. Um, and then on the front edge of this, you've got little nuts. As you remember, I'm all sort of like all loose. Um, all loose. But that's good, because we, we'll tighten up after all the wings are on and fitting. Stick it in there. Yeah, so once, once I've done all this, I will put blue Loctite on all this. On the thread, so it doesn't come loose. Because I think the last thing you'd want to do is a wing collapse in mid-air. No, sir. There's one thing that does worry me, actually. In fact, this is a bit weird. This is really kind of strange, actually, because I need to make sure this is the right way up. I can't get that out now, and I'm going to end up breaking the wing. Here we go. Is that I'm going to show you, actually. So, we're going to have to loosen these off anyway, because what happens, if I can just focus into there, is that the, the, the bolts come through here and they overlap the top bolts so you can't tighten them up. So you'd have to tighten them before you tighten this. So it'd probably be better if the whole wing assembly was together. In fact, this is the bottom one, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Yes, the, the top one goes forward. Um, so yeah, you can see what I mean there. So I think once these are all connected up, then we loosen the struts, tighten these, and then tighten the struts and hopefully Hopefully we get it all thing because there's a bit of a pain really because you, you you know you'd probably want that I don't know you, yeah probably you would want it so you could make you know maybe you should that's in focus sorry if it's not in focus there we go you know maybe these could be cut down so you could access the bottom bolt and the side bolt without loosening stuff up. We will see. So listen, I'm gonna pause it right there and I'm gonna build the other wings and get everything in so we're ready to kind of um, plop it all together and see if uh, if we're good. Right, so that's there, they're kind of holding on. As I say, it's really light this plane anyway, so. Um, I'm gonna put that in and then pull these. And as you can see, them dowel rods should just fit there nicely in there. Can you see what I'm doing yet? Just push in there. Don't forget to pull the uh, cable out when you're doing it. Now the dowel rods kind of push in. Um, so I think what would be better to do would be to glue them into the wing halfway. So then you, when you push the wing in, it doesn't push them back. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, that, that was like a, a fight to the death. Um, I, I, haven't, I was going to run out of time because obviously... I have to, you know, I, this is Friday and it is the 4th of December. We can say Merry Christmas and everything now. And we'll start putting the Christmas lights up for next Friday in the hangar. Um, yeah, it's, the trouble is if you, if you, if I, if I, okay. hello. If you super, I just done a bit of super glue before I went mad with wood glue. Um, and because the holes are, they're, they're quite thin that they go into. You know, they can bend up or bend down or bend left or right. And if that happens, then you're not going to be able to put the wing on because it's in the wrong space. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that yet. I mean, I put them on now 
and that's just by trying to doing the top wing first and the bottom wing trying to hold on the back side of the dowel and pushing it in otherwise they you know one one way will push the other way um, these do have little bolts that we've got to put in um, which we were doing another video it's just you got some screws inside uh, inside the fuselage and inside the top wing um, that, uh, that 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 we will do later on because we will take these wings off again afterwards yes I'm glad for punishment I should have done it around the other way I should have done the electronics first and then this but I didn't so let's 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 get these on alrighty so if you remember I think they say in the grub screws see if we can try and get this in shot for you it's uh, in the top of these I think it's a 1.5 yes it is it's a 1.5 now we've got these little, it's really hard for you to see actually, but the, you know the little rods that we had with the little loop? Well these rods go into the bottom, um, like so. This, this is quite simplistic actually. I think, as I say, once we've got the screws into here that, so, so that we, we hold it straight, as I say, I'm not going to go mad tight today. So we're going to go up to the edge of the, the fuselage and tighten that up. And then the top one does the same at the top. What I'll do is I'll take the, the camera off the uh, tripod in a minute and we'll go for an extreme close up. I could probably use, I should have used my iPhone or something, but you know. Glam for punishment as usual in Dad's RC hangar. We don't like to do things easy. Self punishment. <laughs> I've been a bad boy. <laughs> Right, let's get it in there. Okay, so we'll go up to the fuel tank. Um, and I wonder if these would be from the side. So the eyelet has to be, so it's the eyelet, well I'll just show you in a minute. It goes either side to side. So this, this could be messed about with um, off camera and then I can always show you what I did. Um, quite scary stuff in a way okay so once we've done that uh, make sure that you've got uh, a good that's that's nice and straight there and then what we do or what it says you do is that you take off the little bit of metal that we had and pull on the uh, loop we might have to do this with some pliers maybe so get it sort of firmly tight and then push that little uh, tube back on again uh, right up to the top so we're probably you know it says tight in it but I, I would thought we'd do it with some pliers so uh, you know but you need to sort of like push and pull if you know what I mean push on one side pull on the other until you get like a, a nice a nice um, nice tension so why why it's down here pull it so then it gets nice and tight put it a bit more to so say this is why you shouldn't cut it beforehand put it tight before and then push up with the tube so it's a nice piano and then obviously afterwards I mean for now what I'll do is I'll just put that green on there we will cut these down closer and then put the heat shrink on it to stop it from fraying um, uh, we could do we could quickly do the bottom one as well I'm a bit conscious of time, but uh, I don't know how much time. It seems like I've been forever doing it, but I know a lot of it was off camera. So I'm putting the tube up, putting this kind of tight as, just putting the, so they're both in the tube, both the wires. Uh, then I'll grab with my pliers on the end of the one that can fray, put it tight push the tube down kind of locks it in when it goes down so you could mess about with it I mean I wouldn't cut it until I'm really really happy that that's tension um, uh, tension is there um, and then we've got one more last one to do here so once again I'll take the cap off uh, which is probably good because then it, you know if there's any if there's any kind of uh, where it's twisted or something it will untwist so let's get that just it's not the easiest thing trying to do it over the bench with the camera 
but you know um, let's get this come on get in there stop messing about it's because I'm going around there right so let's get the pliers on the end pull you know keep moving that tube up because we don't want it to sort of constrict it so it, you kind of because once it's down it's hard to it's hard to yank so <laughs> so <laughs> sorry uh, yeah and there we go look at that I mean they need tightening up a bit more and um, we can tighten the grub screw on there but look at that that I reckon I had all them things the right way then because they all look like they've gone in we've got to put some plastic screws um, it does pull, I mean we'll have to put the plastic screws in because obviously it's pulling it away. So let me get the camera off the tripod and see if we can go for a, a, cl a close up of what I've done here. Alright here we go, wobbly cam. So here's the, here's the oh, it's going to be really horrible because it's the focus but we'll give it a go. So can you see up there, you should be able to see up there where they, they're attached to. Um, it's just attached to up there you see, see that's where the, the rod goes. And then obviously you tighten it up on the bottom. Um, if I can get something in focus for you, sorry for everyone's going. No, oh, I can't see. There you go. So here is here is where we we pull on it, um, and then once it's pulled, you push this tube down, um, and it kind of locks it there. It's kind of pretty cool actually. For how long I don't know, but you actually crimp these. There's a little crimp that you so that it stops them moving full stop. But I don't think I would do that. So remember also is. Uh, there's me thinking that you can see that that kind of faces that way and this one is kind of straight so remember I haven't uh, I haven't done these mega tight uh, which is a very good reason uh, why so yeah there you go alrighty so there you go and end of another video um, as I say the the, uh, the dowling rods the wooden rods a bit of a pain um, because obviously it doesn't go into like a nice long hole it's only on the on the slither of the wood. It can bend about. So if I if I glued them or something like that, and it was gluing and it stayed like that bit up, then I'm going to be in a whole world of trouble with the wing uh, to put this side of the wing. So I've I've got to think of what I've got to do. I'm really not sure how I'm going to get through this. But when I do, you'll be the first to know what I did. So if you're making this, you're going to be okay. But I'm sure you know you'll come up with your own idea. But I can offer mine. As I say, you know I make mistakes, so you don't have to. Or I try not to make mistakes, but if I do, then you you know you know what to do. Now, one mistake I did do last time. Now, thanks to uh, Tomcat, um, who uh, who's hopefully a subscriber, but he um, he she I don't you know I don't know probably a he. Uh, I'm, I'm being presuming now, um, but uh, they told me he told me that uh, uh, the servo uh, brass inserts were the wrong way around. So. Have a look at this picture. This is what I did. That's wrong. Didn't know that. And here's the picture of the correct way. There you go. That is the correct way of putting those little brass inserts. So why are you saying? Why is that? Well, if you read the comments in the last, uh, when I put the servos in, then you know. But what happens, and it just makes so much sense. If you put the, 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 the non-flared side underneath, and the tighter you tighten it, that little end of the tube will just make its way into the timber, into the wood. Um, yeah, and then obviously break the wood maybe in, and then your servo comes off, you crash and burn. So thanks Tom, Top Cat, I really appreciate that. That's uh, I've, I've turned them around on the wings um, and, and the servos in the fuselage as well. It's just literally undo them, take them out the top, push them in the bottom, bend down. He did say about uh, uh, gluing uh, and, and bits and pieces, I might use some hot glue just to keep it all sturdy. So, um, yeah, we're rolling on towards Christmas. Um, I do want to do a few more, uh, um, like during the week before Christmas, if I get the time. Uh, my workload at the moment is just stupid, but hey, whatever. So if the weather is good near, near you or where you are in the world, then get out there and get flying and have some fun and promote this wonderful, wonderful sport, um, or hobby, should I say, not sport. Well, a sport in some things, but a hobby of, of radar control planes. Um, I love it. I hope you do. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't have been watching this. Unless you think I'm just totally hilarious and I'll make your day. Then, in fact, that's brilliant. Brilliant. So, 
Thanks to all the subscribers that subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. Um, hit the bell if you want to, if you want to be notified of any uh, any future videos, and hit the like. If you don't like it, then just put hit the don't like, you know, and, I, and but leave a comment why you didn't like it, so at least I can improve. So until then, keep safe, keep flying, and have fun, and hey, thanks for stopping by now. Till next time, bye-bye.